Our next report will take a closer look at that matter. Battles rage on between the Syrian army and foreign-backed militants in flashpoints across the Arab country. In the latest development, government forces have stormed a militant hideout in the central city of Hama, where they found cylinders containing the deadly agent sarin. The hazardous substance is a colorless, odorless liquid gas which can cause respiratory arrest and death. It's been classified as a weapon of mass destruction under UN Resolution 687. Armed groups in Syria have constantly threatened to use such unconventional weapons against government forces and pro-government citizens. The evidence on the ground suggests that chemical arms have been used at least three times since the violence flared up in Syria more than two years ago. Syrian media reported on March 19th that over two dozen people had died and many others had been wounded when insurgents fired shells containing a toxic substance into a village near the northwestern city of Aleppo. More than two weeks later, UN investigators said testimony from victims and medical staff showed that militants had used sarin against civilians. Analysts believe that the chemical weapons are foreign-made and provided by countries hostile to the Syrian government. These uh, dangerous uh, chemical weapons, along with training for the use thereof, have been afforded by enemies of the people of Syria, so that an international incident, uh, of course prompted by the death of innocent Syrian civilians, could justify uh, the United States, uh, Britain, uh, and the Gulf uh, Cooperation Council or others putting soldiers on the ground or getting a no-fly zone where they can achieve their ultimate end of destroying the Syrian uh, nation. The nerve agent has also been found in neighboring Turkey, one of the regional sponsors of the militancy in Syria. Last Thursday, Turkish newspapers reported that police had discovered two kilograms of sarin in the homes of militants belonging to the anti-Syrian terrorist Al-Nusra Front in the southern city of Adana. Damascus has repeatedly warned the U.S. and its European and regional allies against stoking the fire in Syria, arguing that their support could lead to a spillover of the conflict into other countries. It has also warned that if the militants take over, they could destabilize the entire Middle East region for decades. Just last week, the European Union paved the way for officially supplying the militants with weapons by lifting an arms embargo on Syria. The move came after the U.S. pledged millions of dollars in aid to the militants. The support is offered under the pretext of protecting civilians and accelerating the transfer of power in Syria.